This is the blanket stitch used in hand embroidery. It's also called the buttonhole stitch very commonly today. It can form a closed line of thick stitches or you can open up and space the stitches farther apart for a different effect. Whenever you start the blanket stitch, you're going to start it on the line where you want the rope-like edge of the stitch to be, and your spokes will radiate from that edge. So start on the line and then take your needle down away from the line and back up on the line, as you can see in the video here. Take the working thread over the needle and pull through. The stitch will catch around the working thread and hold it in place. So down on the top line, bring your needle back up on the baseline. You'll want to be over the working thread and then just pull your stitch through. You can change the look of the blanket stitch by changing the spacing between the stitches and also by changing the length of the spokes. So some can be higher, some can be lower. It depends on the look you want. Now when you take the stitch, if you come up inside the loop of your working thread, you'll always catch the stitch as you're supposed to. So you don't actually have to move the thread underneath the needle as long as your thread is lying in a loop on your fabric like this and you come up inside that loop. You can also stab the stitch by taking the needle to the back of the fabric and pulling through and leaving a loop on the front and then bringing the needle back up inside that loop. Stabbing the fabric works really well when you're working in a, um, on a frame or in a hoop and your fabric is under tight tension. It works better this way than trying to sew the fabric. So take the needle to the back and leave a loop on the front, bring the needle back up inside that loop and pull through. And one last stitch here, down on the top line, up on the bottom line, inside the loop and pull through. To end your line of buttonhole, you just want to anchor that last stitch by taking your needle down just on the other side of it and pull through. And that is the buttonhole stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.